There is a discussion about girl math, and girl math is the justification. You know what we ought to do? We ought to go to the phones on this and, and talk to some women regarding girl math. But here's the deal. Girl math is women that justify making an, an important and very expensive purchase usually for a clothing item or an accessory, so uh, a very expensive top, a very expensive handbag, a purse, for instance. And girl math is where you essentially break down the cost over the use. So then you lower the number, oh, I'm going to wear this purse or use this purse uh, four days a week, and then you say, oh, it's only $3.50 or $5 every time I use the purse, uh, but then you obviously you multiply that four days a week times uh, fifty two weeks a year. Have you never bought anything like that? What like uh, like like Buddy's Home Furnishings? <laughs> or no, I mean, pay, pay for my couch by the week? No, I've no, never I've never no, done no, no, that. But like like I I, I bought a pair of two hundred dollars sneakers one time. Yeah, right. What? Yeah, they were orthopedic because you know <laughs> you're flat. Right? Oh, oh, hold on, what do you mean? There are a lot of sneakers. Look at some of the top end Nike stuff. Sure. There's plenty of sneakers that are 200 bucks so these I, days. I bought a pair of $200 sneakers. Right. And, you know, I don't think I've ever spent that much on sneakers before. And I was like, there's no way in hell I'm getting these sneakers. They're $200. And then Allison's like, you're going to wear them for a year. It's like less than a dollar a day. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. And I so, so this is fester math as well. well so she, it's not just girl math. It's it's or she My wife helped me break well, it down. She, so I guess it was girl mentality, girl math that... You know what we ought to do? Let's go to phones on this. I don't know if we're going to generate a lot of calls on this, but what are your thoughts on girl math? You break down the price of an item as cost per use or cost per wear. Expensive dress, expensive pants, expensive shirt, expensive purse. Girl math says that you justify the expensive price tag because... Oh, it only costs me X per wear. All right, do we have uh, women? Or, hey, I'll take guy calls here. Is there guy math as well? All right, 800-990-1047. Let's see if we can uh, drill up a couple of phone calls on this. 800-990-1047. That's 800-990-1047. So do you justify a purchase? Have you been doing, maybe you didn't even know what it was called, but it's been dubbed girl math. Have you done this for years or are you doing it right now? Did you just buy something and then justify it? Well, it's only going to cost me X per use. Uh, And listen, I'm not going to keep this exclusively for women. If you're a guy and you do the same justification for a purchase, let's go. Phones are ringing. Andrews is screaming. 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. We'll go to calls here in a second. 800-990-1047. Yes, Rox. So it's funny we're having this conversation today. Yesterday, I'm not a big shopper. I don't go to the mall that often. But I went yesterday and I walked Why through. Why do you have to go to the mall to shop? Because I had to try on bathing suits. And you have I can't order bathing suits online. Okay. All right. So I went into. What, you're going to do some more thirst trap photos for your Instagram and your new bathing suits? Yes. Of course. <laughs> uh, are you going no, to write those off as tax deductions? Yeah, I should, right? No, uh, wardrobe. We're, we're taking. You know, I'm gone. I'm gone at the end of the week because we're taking a, a vacation, a family vacation. Um, well, when are you leaving? Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? Okay, what? so tomorrow. Remember, you and I talked on Saturday. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. I have a thing with my with my child's school. All right, so you're not here you're tomorrow? Coming in, I'm coming in for the midday show tomorrow. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah. And, and yeah, then, sure, sure, um, sure you are. <laughs> if it sounds like it's <laughs> right, in the can, it's because it right, is. Right, <laughs> sure you are, yeah. And then Friday, I will be in the Bahamas. All right, uh, what? So yes. you're going to be gone tomorrow and Friday? Yes, tomorrow and Friday. Yes. Okay. Nothing right. like a family yeah. vacation after the first week of school. Uh, girl math. We ought to go uh, to the, did you want to say something? Yes, I did. Go so I'm walking, I'm walking into Nordstrom, and I'm looking at all the handbags and purses and shoes. Did you rip like, them off? Did you run out with handfuls like <laughs> like they, that flash mob out in L.A.? Right. 
<laughs> did you did you rip them off? I, did you see that video? I mean, they were grabbing like the display racks and dragging them through the doors into the parking lot with cables attached to the expensive like Bottega Veneta yeah. and Chanel handbags. They ripped them a hundred thousand dollars worth of designer handbags oh. and other goods were ripped off from this Nordstrom out in the L.A. area. And that's why they're so expensive. It's, now. It was like like fifty people. This mob of fifty. This organized mob ran in and ripped them off. All right, go ahead. Their girl math yeah. was really good, by yeah, the way. So... I mean, free. <laughs> yeah, loot, loot, loot. Ma- loot math. <laughs> Anyways, yes. I couldn't justify in my head to buy any of the Gucci shoes and purses and all the fancy stuff I thought because I, I saw because I'm like, it's too expensive. Who has this kind of money to spend on this kind of stuff? But I should have done girl math. And I guess it makes sense then. Uh, let's go to phones. 800-990-1047. 800 800- 990-1047. Oh, and then we've got this awful update. Do you remember the old lady that hit the gas instead of the brake at that Toyota dealership out in Los Angeles? Yeah. There is an awful, awful, terrible update to this story. You're not going to believe this. Huh. Celebrity connection. Hold on. Get to that in a minute. First, still, let me go to phones. Laura is in Tampa. Hi, Laura. You're on the MJ Morning Show. We're talking girl math. Hey, so I bought a Dyson Airwrap for $550, and I did girl math and was able to cancel my blowout subscription so I didn't have to get my hair bowed and dried anymore because that cost me like $50. Well, all right, hold on a minute. This is a Dyson blow dryer. How much was the Dyson blow dryer? $550. Holy f- for it, really? That is the most a, expensive hair dryer. Fi- I mean, you could go to Target and get a Con Air for like fifteen ninety nine. Sure, but my girl math. Hold on, do you call me sir? Hi. She said sure. sure. Oh, oh, sure, oh, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura. All right, so I right, it, 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 go ahead and give me your justification. So it costs five hundred fifty dollars, but whenever I go to get my like hair blown out at like a blow dry bar type thing, yep, it costs me fifty dollars. All right, so you're doing so, the math here, and you're saying, hey, I can get this whole damn thing paid for. Just 10 blowouts pays for the hair dryer. Exactly, and I've had it for two or three years, and my hair looks perfect because the Dyson Air app is so quick and easy. So it was a really good purchase. What are you, uh, that Dyson guy's uh, like niece or something? No, right? <laughs> I just love the product. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Laura, listen, perfect example of girl math. The Dyson $550 blow dryer. <laughs> But does it blow you? I'd, yeah. I'd, for that if, kind of money, I'd buy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. kidding me? Uh, it every day. Hey, uh, Laura, just out of curiosity, how old are you? I'm 35. All right. So listen, that's a significant purchase, $550 for a blow dryer. Hey, Laura, thank you. Do you listen to the MJ yeah. Morning Show every day? Not every day, but okay. I'm driving to St. Pete now, so I'm listening to you. I cross the bridge. All right, so whenever you are listening in the morning, you listen to us. Yes, of course. Well, thank you. Hey, do us a favor. Spread the word and tell your friends to listen to the MJ Morning Show on 104.7, okay? Absolutely. You guys have a great day. You too. All right, let me grab Stephanie in Tampa. Stephanie, girl math, you're on with the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, MJ. How are you? Doing well. All right, go ahead. So I go to a salon to get a keratin treatment once every four or five-ish months. And it's quite expensive. Uh, this is keratin for, for hair health? Yes. Well, it's to kind of defrizz. Um, and, you know, Florida's very humid. And so with naturally curly hair, I don't want to walk out of the house after doing my hair and turn into like a poodle. So <laughs> I get the keratin treatments, and they cost, like I said, roughly about, you know, $400. And but the time that it saves me in doing my hair and the product since the amount of ah. time that I have to wash my hair, it totally pays for itself. So that's your justification. The keratin treatments are expensive, but it's better in the long run because I don't spend as much time nor money on products to tame your hair. So that's your girl math justification. Precisely. Awesome. Stephanie, thank you so much for listening. You're welcome. All right. Oh, look at this. Now we're going to boy math. (laughs) (laughs) Now now the rest of the lines now, it's William, Eric, uh, Robert, uh, uh, Kinal. uh, Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's right. Kinal. She's called before. All right. Hold on. Kinal, I'll I'll take your call in a second. Let me grab some boy math here. William is in Clearwater. William, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Good morning. So I 
do it like how many hours do I need to work to justify purchasing this? So it's like if I buy like a three or four hundred dollar item, how many hours am I going to have to put in and slave away to buy that or purchase that item? I got you. Yeah. So that's your justification. William, can you give us a, an example of a recent purchase or one that you can remember that you use that justification? Oh, sure. Uh, uh, Froggy will relate to this. When I was buying a gaming console. <laughs> of course you were. $700. Very nice. Oh, how much? Like, like $700. What gaming console did you buy? Oh, the Xbox. Gotcha. Xbox, um, Series X. Is, uh -huh. uh, Very nice. The newest one. Yeah, so. Um, how many yeah, gigaturns? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just two. Well, that holds I think a lot it's of one gigaturns. gigaturn or terabit or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so. You can play it at times, so two. I, I just made that up. I like that gigaturn. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. So that's your justification, William. Yeah. So I, you know, I had to work you know, three days, three days to be able to buy it. So that's fine. Three days out of my life to purchase something I can use over and over and over again. Not a problem. Gotcha. I mean, the ways, uh, appreciate the call, William. The way that we twist up our brain just to justify things in life, it's really amazing. All right, Eric is in Largo. Eric, you're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. So, boy math, what's your deal? Uh, well, my last pickup truck I held for 16 years. Whoa. So I bought my current one for 76000 with the idea I'll hold it for 15 or 20. Isn't that amazing? $76,000 pickup truck these days. Incredible. Remember, you should be able to buy a pickup truck for twenty two five. you know? Yeah, well, this is like a Platinum Edition 4x4 Ooh. diesel. Is it, is, it the, a... is it the King Ranch Platinum Edition F-150? Uh, well, it's a Platinum. Uh, right. the, uh, the King Ranch is... The other version. Oh, that's okay. So there's no King Ranch with platinum. It's 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 either or. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The gotcha. only difference is the King Ranch has a different interior. Does oh, it gotcha. have the a, brown leather a yeah. Hemi? No, no, no Hemi's Chrysler. Ford, this yeah. is a but we're talking so, Froggy. We're talking we're talking Ford, man. The but, Hemis are Chryslers, but or or a Rams. So it doesn't have a Hemi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, this is the Power Stroke. All right. So it's uh, big, that's it's my nickname. Oh, he stop, Froggy. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> stop so it. Froggy, the Power Stroke over here. <laughs> All, right, <that's laughs> great. All right. So so your justification is that if you kept your last pickup truck for sixteen years, you're kind of doing the math. Oh, this one seventy two grand over sixteen years, right? Yeah, 76 grand, but yeah, 15, 20 years. I'm sorry to lowball you there, pal. Th yeah, hey, Eric, thanks for listening, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me grab, is it uh, Kinal in Soho in South Tampa? Hello, Kinal. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hey, guys. So I didn't realize that it was called girl math, but my husband's been using this on me for the past 10 years now. Yeah, right? Yeah, and give yep. us an example. So most recently, um, uh, I was approached by my car dealership to trade my car in for a newer version. Mm -hmm. And so this is the second model I have of this car, um, the Ascent from Subaru. Yep. And they wanted me, they were uh, giving me about 27 for it and additional uh, about uh, another 25 to throw in for the new car. So the uh, total price for the car would end up being about like, 60000 or something like that. And I'm like, I've got four years left to pay off on this car. Why would I add another four years to this thing? So did you do it or not? No, I didn't end up doing it because it's worth it. It's not, it, it doesn't make it uh, worth it for me. When I traded in in 21, they gave me a new car for basically 10 grand. And didn't I see a commercial that 107% of all Subarus ever produced are still on the road? Like everyone, <laughs> everyone is still every on the road. Every Subaru ever built. No, so, uh, MJ, they, when they resold my old one yeah. in 21, yeah. they actually lost money on it. Oh, wow. Uh, Kinal, yeah. thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Yep. All right, so she did not succumb to the math. All right, uh, hey, uh, let me finish up these calls. No more. I got to move on. Robert in Tarpon Springs. Rob, so if you're on hold, I'll grab your call, uh, but I'm not going to take any more. Robert Tarpon, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Okay, quick story. My college economics teacher, his wife went out and bought a fur coat, and he you know that fur is dead, sir. No, I'm kidding. So I'm kidding. Economics what did I teacher? tell you? I told you not to buy anything. <laughs> oh, that's right, good fellas. Was it a mink? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about the pink Cadillac? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Robert. Oh, my mother-in-law's well, name. She she came home and said, "I saved us a thousand dollars." He said, "No, you didn't. You spent four. And she goes, "No, I saved a thousand dollars." 
And he said, well, why don't you go buy a thousand coats and we'll be millionaires? Oh. <laughs> what I mean? Burn. Burn. Right, is that a real story? You just made that up. Yeah, that's when I was in college. Oh, really? She could, right. not, she could not get it through her head that... Yeah. He didn't save any money at no. all. Yeah, well, oh, it was on sale. I <laughs> saved money. No, you actually spent money. Thanks, Robert. Gloria is in Lakeland. Then we'll grab Paul. Then we'll wrap it up. And I've got a, I've got a terrible follow up on something. Oof. All right, Gloria in Lakeland. Gloria, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Final girl math calls. Go ahead. Yes. Good morning. I have a. I've always used girl math. My husband uses it, but. I had two instances where it totally failed my husband because I buy like $10 water shoes. They fall apart by the end of the summer. Next year, I got to buy another pair. He's like, well, I bought mine for 50 and it lasted me like five years. Hey, listen, I I still have my water shoes. My water shoes are 15 years old. And it's it's a, I forgot the, what are the big brands of water shoes? Because I, it's a big brand and those things have lasted and lasted and lasted. I don't know. He got some Columbia ones. Yeah, mine aren't Columbia. I'm trying to remember the the brand that I have. Hey, listen, and my uh, Scuba Pro, my Scuba, my my uh, <laughs> Scuba, my Scuba. Yeah, that's that sounds like some kind of like uh, illicit little, video. Scuba. Uh, yeah, so, so like my Scuba Pro Scuba booties. Man, those things just last and last. And uh, thanks to the yeah. guys at Tackle Shack and Pinellas Park, appreciate it. Hey, Gloria, what's your favorite song? <laughs> my favorite song? Yeah. Of all of them. <laughs> um, Michael Jackson's what? New Criminal. Right. How yes. could you not say? Gloria. I know. Somebody said that to me. Yeah, come on, Gloria. <laughs> Calling Gloria. How about, hey, do you have voices in your head, Gloria? Always. That's what See? I thought. Yeah, songs about you. Advice. Thank you, Gloria. Have a great one. Uh, Paul, last call on this, and i got to move on. Paul is in Bradenton. Not Bradington. There's no I-N-G. He's in Bradenton. Uh, Paul, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning, MJ. Morning. Yeah, I'm driving in Bradenton this morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, we use girl math in guy math, and I'm sure you'll all relate to this whenever you've sat in the finance office at a car dealership. So the simplistic thing is, you mean you're going to not buy this car because it's only going to cost you $2 a day more than you budgeted? Ah, gotcha. So I'm sure we've all heard that, uh, and not all car dealers uh, necessarily have the extended terms available to the group I represent. But I could also extend your term out to 180 months on an automobile. I could extend your term out for the rest of your life. A 15-year note on an yeah. automobile? Yeah. Look. Hey, thanks for the call, buddy. Thanks, Paul. All right, so girl, man, it's a thing. And it's the justification by saying it costs this much money, but uh, I'm going to break it down over use. It's only X number of dollars per use. So We, we did right. that when we bought season passes to, like, Disney. And it was, it was a reasonable amount of money. And my wife's like, if we go every other week, I'm like, we're not going every other week. <laughs> every other week. <laughs> we're going every weekend to Disney. Let's go. We're going to use that Florida pass or whatever the season pass. Damn it, we bought it. <laughs>